What's up, everybody? It's CodyFire.tv back at it with another video. And today we're going to be covering um, buffering. Buffering is a major issue across many devices, mainly, you know, Fire TV sticks, uh, MXQ boxes, just pretty much things that do not have a lot of memory. A lot of people tend to set, uh, you know, in Cody, the cache to zero, which is works okay, but you don't realize when you do so that it fills up your memory really quick and once you fill up your memory then you get all those weird errors and so forth but today I'm kinda just go through what we can do to eliminate that and there's a lot of people that are iffy about this um, topic of course because you have to add numbers and so on but it works pretty decent the way we have it set up and we have other videos but for this particular build I'm gonna show you how to access it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to add-ons you'll go to create edit advance so we, we made a shortcut right here so you don't have to go through all the, the crazy routes of finding this so once you click on it you're gonna go to edit settings you're gonna go to network settings network and what you want to concentrate on the last three here I mean I can go into full detail what each one of these means but for now, for time purposes, let's just focus on what, what needs to go in here. First off, I'm going to show you uh, the buffer mode. What you want to do is set to have it set to 1. And read buffer factor is going to be set to 4.0. And what this does, this applies to, you know, the Fire TV stick, Fire TV box, any, uh, any device. So depending on how much memory you have, this is where the next numbers uh, kind of matter. So you go to the cache buffer memory size or size value, I should say. You go in here, and we're starting to get into bytes, megabytes, and then this number is a huge factor because it multiplies by three. So depending how much your uh, your setup has, and so that's how much of the memory it'll use first to load the video or the content before actually. Uh, you know your speed or well it's a big it's a big mathematical uh, equation I should say but we'll start with this 209 715 200 and what this does is gonna set the value of the memory which will multiply by three so I have to look up these numbers again off the top of my head I forgot what exactly this equates to but I know when it multiplies it's somewhere around maybe I think 60 megabytes and so forth I could be wrong don't quote me on this I'll look for more information uh, and post it back in the in the comments or in the video but when you do this it multiplies by three so this is a typical setting for any device that has one gigabyte of RAM so with one gigabyte of RAM with these settings you put in and you do this so once you put that in, it helps with the buffering. So what you would do next, you go back, you would back out again, and then you go back one more time, and what you'll do, I'm not going to do this because I already have it set, and this is my laptop, and this is something different, but this is where I do all the Cody-related uh, tweaks and so on, then I apply it to the Fire TV and all the other boxes that we have, Fire TV sticks, and so on. So you would hit Write XML, and once you hit write XML, and then it would have come back. Well, actually, I'm going to do this because I can just reset it. You do this. You, you then view the active settings. And these settings here are good settings for any device, including a Fire TV stick for one gigabyte of RAM. So now if, we're, if we were doing um, a Fire TV, uh, Fire TV itself, I know it has two gigabytes of RAM. So you would do the same thing, network. I mean network settings, network, you would put these numbers in except this is going to change to 409-430-400. You would hit here and again this is going to multiply by 3. All those numbers will be equated and uh, it will give you the exact size but for every 1 gigabyte of RAM you want to add 209-715-200 to that which is pretty good tweak so you go go back again back one more time you hit back 
and then you would hit right. So once you do this, like I said, these settings are different for anything that has more than one gigabyte of RAM. So any device that has two gigabytes of RAM, you put 409-430-400. And again, that's bytes being converted to megabytes. And once they multiply, like I said, it's a whole equation. But this actually helps your buffering. I do this on all the boxes for everyone, every, every box that we have for um, different people, clients, etc. That have an issue we recommend this but this is how you do it with our build but in general you would go through um, the same route programs add-ons maintenance tool and then it brings you to here but for the Cody fire build is just a straight shortcut and like I said it helps with uh, all the video all the buffering and so on I wish show a video because recently YouTube has been kind of uh, on it with anything I put up as far as showing content you know copyright etc I'm not gonna display a video but you pretty much get the idea of what you need to do so for every one gigabyte add two zero nine seven one five two hundred and like I said in the comments or in the description I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put exactly what that converts to in megabytes bytes and etc and like I said it gets multiplied by three but these are good settings to help buffering in general it's not a hundred percent because when you really get down into Things that buffer, you know, different factors, the sources, the servers, your connection. You can kind of just spend years, hours, etc., just trying to figure all this out. But this is a good way to kind of minimize it. It is maybe, I would say, 80 to 85% guaranteed, and it always works for me here at home and every device. So give it a shot. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Be sure to like our videos. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more great videos, any Cody news, etc. Be sure to look us up at CodyFire.tv and on Facebook as well. Facebook group is for um, CodyFire.tv. So until next time, keep uh, keep up with Cody. Happy streaming and have a great weekend.